Hello everyone. Let's try to answer this question from the chapter light based on the concept lenses. Let's go through the question and try to understand what is given in the question and what we need to answer. First, draw a ray diagram to show the path of the refracted ray in each of the following cases. So they have given us three cases and we need to draw a ray diagram to show the path of refracted ray. Let's go through the cases. A ray of light incident on a concave lens. Concave lens is nothing but a diverging lens, right? It looks like this. So something like this. Now, case one. A ray of light passing through its optical center. Optical center. What is optical center? Optical center is nothing but pole. Correct? So in this diagram, you can see that optical center is nothing but this pole P point P so when a light ray is passing through pole how will its path be after refraction there won't be any deviation right when a light ray is incident at pole it will go undeviated so after refraction it will go undeviated it's a straight line path so a light ray incident at pole will go undeviated now let's see what is the second case. So a light ray going parallel to its principal axis. So a light ray is going parallel to its principal axis. After refraction what will happen? In a concave mirror to a light ray passing parallel to the principal axis after refraction how will it go? It will refract in such a way that when you retrace its path, when you retrace the path of the refracted ray in backward direction it should meet principal axis at focus right so the incident ray which is passing parallel to its principal axis after refraction it should go in such a way that when you extend the refracted ray backwards it should meet the principal axis at focus now this is about the second case what will happen to the third case directed towards its principal focus so focus on this side if it is f here if we have focus i'm taking a ray in such a way that it is focusing it is pointing towards focus you can see clearly that i'm drawing a line and taking a ray in such a way that it will be pointing towards focus like this so this ray is pointing towards focus right after refraction how will it go it will go exactly parallel to the principal axis like this so a ray which is pointing towards the focus after refraction it will go parallel to the principal axis now these are the three rays where this is first case in which a light ray passing through pole it will go undeviated and the second case which is going parallel to the principal axis after refraction it will go in such a way that when you extend it back it will meet the principal axis at focus and third ray which is pointing towards the principal focus after refraction it will go parallel to the principal axis these are the three cases and we have three different rays here 